Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom menu tab up here. So, as you see up here, you got the standard ones up here, and then I'm adding an extra one called Custom. And within that, I add my functions that I want to call within this sheet. So instead of creating a button over here to call your functions, you can just add a menu tab to call your functions up here. And I also have a submenu where you can add a bunch of other submenus and make this pretty big and keep expanding it. But in this example, I got three examples how I set this up. Um, just as simple as that. One calls my name, adds it here. You can, I mean, you can add any functions, but in this example, I'll just show you a couple quick ones I did. This adds numbers. And then my last one is delete the data. So I'll give you a step-by-step -step process of how I built this menu. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I got my new Google spreadsheet. I have it called Create Custom Menu up here. And I have a sh one sheet as sheet one down below here. And that's it. That's all I got it here. Now we're going to create our custom menu. So I'm going to go into App Script, Extensions, App Script. It can bring me up to here. I'm going to give it a name here. Create custom menu, rename it. Next, I'm going to add my code. I'm going to copy and paste it. And I will provide this code in a link in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So there I have a copy and paste it. Now I'm going to go up to the top and I'll kind of run through the code of how it works. So the first three things I have here, and this is not any importance here. This is just the three functions that I set up to call. One function here just adds my name to A1. The second function adds this array of numbers to this range B1 to F3. And the third function is just clears the data from A1 to F3. Basically clearing out the numbers and my name. So these are the three functions that I'll be calling. So next I'll be going over the how to set up this menu here. So I got a function called add menu. And I'm going to define menu as my first thing. And I'm using this standard spreadsheet app get UI function. And I'm going to create a menu. And I'm going to give it a name. That's going to be the name that sits on top, up here on top, right next to it's going to add it right next to help here. So I'm calling that custom. You can make that any name you want. Next, I'm going to add an item. So I'm going to add my first function. So I'm going to give it a name, add my name is the thing and then the next I'm going to give it the name of the function so up here is I got this function called add my name so I'm going to give it that function name so now that first selection is set next I'm going to add another item called add numbers giving that this is the name of it on the menu and then I'm going to set it to function called add numbers same thing up here is my second function and the third thing uh, the Next thing I'm going to do is add separator. Now the separator is just a line that comes across your menu there. It kind of separates out. Don't need it, but you can have it. It makes it kind of nice to separate your main items from your sub menu. So I have it in there. Next thing I'm going to add a sub menu. So menu, add sub menu. Again, it's kind of like we're embedding this create menu inside the sub menu. So here, same thing we're doing up here, create menu, and we're going to give it a name of sub menu. And then within that submenu, I'm going to add an item called delete data. And I'm going to add my function called clear data to it up here, right there, that function. And then the last, the last statement kind of brings it all together is the menu add to UI function. And this kind of compiles it and builds it there. So that is it. So now I have my add menu function here. And then the last part is we need this to come up right when we open up our document. So we need something to kick this, this function on when we open up our document. So this is this, the simple way to do it is do a function on open. Now this is a standard Google Apps Script function. And what this does is every time you open up your document, it'll run add menu here, which is this function that compiles your menu here. So that creates it. So 
What I'm going to do here is I'm going to just go ahead and run this function here. So I'm going to save it. I haven't saved the, the code yet, so I saved it. So that's saved. Next, I'm going to run here. I'm going to change this to add menu because I'm just going to populate. I don't want to close down my, my file and reopen it. So I'm just going to run this real quick. So I'm going to hit run. And it's going to run through my permissions. I'm going to allow this app script to update things on my Google Sheet. So I'm going to hit advanced. Go to create custom menu. I'm going to allow it to edit and update my sheet. So that is done, it ran it. So I go over here, now my button is on the sheet. So now I could click through and call my functions as needed on there and then I can do my sub menu like that. I, to take that separator out, I mean I can always just take it out like that, save, I'm gonna run it again. It's gonna rebuild my menu again see now how the separator is out like that so that's what the separator does as or as that line through there so that concludes this video if you have any questions or comments please leave it below the video until next time